Hello, I'm Chapter Negro. And I'm Will Smith. Our first story takes us back to Ferguson, Missouri. Tensions have flared up once again with the arrest of Jeffrey Williams, a 20-year-old man from St. Louis area. Williams has been charged in a shooting involving two police officers. Other Ferguson protesters stand firm to their cry of nonviolence and express that they had nothing to do with this incident. They also say they will continue their nonviolent protests despite the violence. Even though the main struggle has been in the town of Ferguson itself, the two officers shot were not working at Ferguson Police Department. One officer was shot below his right eye and the other in the shoulder with a bullet going through and out of his back. Since then, both officers have seen medical care and have been released from the hospital. In environmental news, hundreds of sea lions on the west coast are currently in danger. Though it's not unusual for some sea lion pups to wash up on shore, the numbers this year have exceeded the norm. More than 1,450 pups have been rescued from beaches since January, either from starvation or sickness. The pups are severely underweight and weak upon washing to the shore. This situation is not only on beaches, however. Pups have also been found inside public restrooms, behind buildings, and along railroad tracks. The situation is so severe that SeaWorld has canceled its sea lion shows in order to focus on rescue efforts. The park has treated 400 pups, twice the number of pups it would generally treat. Scientists aren't positive what the cause is, but believe that warmer waters from this winter's El Nino weather pattern may be pushing prime sea lion foods further north, forcing the mothers to abandon their pups to survive. And now we go to Entertainment Review with Ryan Canny. Hello, I'm Ryan Kenny, and this is a movie review. This week, in honor of Black History Month, we will be talking about the movie Selma. Selma is a movie that takes place during the Civil Rights era. The story is told from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s perspective, played by David Oyelowo. This tells of the historic events that took place in order for African Americans to achieve the Voting Rights Act of 1965. Martin Luther King will have to face off against dangerous and violent oppositions while trying to achieve this. This movie does a great job of explaining King's struggles of balancing being a civil rights leader and a father figure. This movie is based around the walk from Selma to Montgomery, Alabama, based on the historical events. When protesters were walking on a bridge over the Alabama River in Selma, the Alabama National Guard was dispersed to break up the protesters. The guards used many forms of violence in order to break up the walkers, injuring many. This, however, did not stop civil rights activists from completing this walk later. King walked in the second march protected by the United States Army. In my opinion, this movie does a great job of portraying Martin Luther King and the civil rights movement. However, lately there have been some reports about how some of the events may not have happened or are incorrect. Overall, besides some of the minor inaccuracies in the film, it still makes a great movie that could be used to teach about the civil rights movement. This movie gets my rating of 8 out of 10. That's all for this week. Until next time, I'll take my leave. On behalf of everyone here at the Cyclone Broadcast Network, thanks for watching, and you stay classy out there, San Diego.